I will actually go as far as to say that this record is kind of like the second coming of Mad Villain, and I can only hope that with time this record becomes just as infamous and that we all kind of sit here with blue balls waiting for these guys to follow this record up. This is the best thing I've heard Freddie Gibbs on, period, and I can only hope into the future with new mixtapes and new albums that he is able to keep up this kind of focus, this kind of passion, and this kind of captivating storytelling. I'm feeling a light to decent nine on this thing. Overall, I thought this thing was decent. I didn't love it. I think it certainly had its issues and a few low points, but it was cool to just hear Freddie put together another very coherent project, sticking with not only a, a number of themes lyrically, but a pretty strong sound as well. And he experimented with, with the singing on this thing, and for the most part, it goes over well. I'm feeling a decent strong seven on this thing. I hope he can come through with something that is uh, a little bit more coherent, a little bit more cohesive, a little bit more thoughtful, a little bit more consistent, well-structured, and lengthier too. I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this album. It is pleasant to listen to while it's on, but overall I'm pretty indifferent to this thing and don't have a whole lot of strong feelings on it. There wasn't a lot about this record that really kind of begged me to dive deeply into it and, and pull every nook and cranny of it apart because on the surface all of it just seems so unambitious and kind of plain for Freddie Gibbs, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of feeling pretty meh on this. All in all, this thing is pretty good. It's an interesting crossover, and I would say to a degree, uh, Freddie and Currency do bring a little bit of the best out of each other, though I would still hope that both artists still show more potential going forward. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing. I cannot deny that Freddie, I think, upped his game a little bit on this LP. I think Mad Lib, in my opinion, shone a bit brighter on Pinata than Freddie did, but I think Freddie is who really kind of stood out as the prime voice, the prime artistic voice on Bandana. All that being said though, this record is still two of the best right now doing what they do best, and that's it. I'm feeling a decent to a strong eight on this thing. Now, um, this review isn't like a usual review over on this channel. In fact, it's not a review over on this channel at all. Are there some tracks that I thought were a little mid? Yes. Do I wish all of these cuts kind of culminated into a stronger ending? Yes as well. But I still loved the vast majority of the tracks on this thing, and I think Freddie uh, still stands as a, a really significant and uh, important rapper in today's hip-hop field, and this album is further proof of that. I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this one.